That's where I am at 5.30 in the morning. That's right. Trans garage. I will be trying to see the first bus leaving the garage today. I said 5.30 in the morning. What am I doing out here? This will be the first video for Life in a Day. Life in a Day. All I have to do now is wait. Pretty much deserted out here. And as they say that, but three cars go by. But only two bus drivers, basically. Regular supervisor vehicles. On those. That are always there. And that's it for now. And more videos when the bus leaves, I guess. Over and out. Okay, I'm at the other side of the bus garage, and it's... That's really helpful. Don't focus. Just wait for it, wait for it. One camera. You can do it. You can see what time it is. Almost. I oh, can't. So wait for it. Ooh, a magic. Hold the camera with zero hands. Oh, let's see. In case you're wondering, this paper has a bunch of fins on it. That'll be a neat background. Oh, yeah. The trains. That was 5.36 a.m. But my camera doesn't want to focus, so I can prove it to you. You better just believe me. Well, yeah. There is 16. There is 43 and 19. 16 might actually go back into service. And if you see off to the right of 16, that's 1957. Old look. Because everyone loves like, historical buses. Yes. <laughs> and there's school buses. Brandon School Division, where they keep their buses. Brandon Trends and Bucket, they keep theirs inside. Yeah. In a way, yes. Just past five thirty in the morning, waiting for the per first bus to leave. In the video, I guess you call it the outline video for the Life in a Day filming day, they said you had to answer three questions and then show what you had in your pocket. Not doing that quite yet, but they said you could also film with sunrise. Not sure if this is exactly what they meant, but this is sort of it. At least it isn't raining. I've been very disappointed. And the camera's always been out of focus, hasn't it? Oh well. It's so quiet. And it rained last night too, I think. Video's coming soon. Now, over and out. Okay, it's 2.42 a.m. 
I just remembered a quote that got posted on the Canadian Public Transit Discussion Board. It read, There's a fine line between hobby and mental illness. <laughs> we also got up at 5 in the morning just to go videotape the first bus for a film that would be on YouTube and possibly more than that. That's why you should watch me and subscribe to me. He's awesome. Because I need some more sleep. I have to go to my train club at 9.30. And you'll be watching that too. I also have to get more batteries for my camera. So, yeah. That's about it, what, I, what I'm doing right now. Over and out. Okay. Hello, welcome back. It is 5.47 right now. Buses are starting to emerge from their beauty rest. Except that one. That one always looks weird. Looks like a camper. That one, beauty rest. Well, not when my camera's out of focus. Anyway, yes. Which will be the first bus of the day. That classic, which I cannot identify the plate number. Or that rattle shock, I mean, cut away. The camera must be like classics like I do. Doesn't want to look at the cutaways. Watch it go and focus me look at this. Wherever it is. Do, 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 do. Oh, like that. Always when I zoom out, you get the point. There is a classic there. Somewhere. And I have a low battery light. But yes. I have to wait now. Maybe it's just better hurry up before my low battery happens and I can't film it. That would really suck. Okay. Over and out. There we go. 5.51. First bus. Bus 5. No, thank you. I said if I needed a ride. Very kind. Oh, another bus. Or is it? Yeah, it is. I can't zoom in right now. Oh crap, I smell something from skunk. There we go. Fence in the way. I can't read the fleet number. You probably can right now. Oh well. We have to wait. That's it for now.